What up, YouTube? Big Little Big Louis Coach Review back again with another review, and today we're here to do a little review on the Spartan mod. That's right, this is a brass mechanical tube mod, but it doesn't stop there, the train. We're also going to do a first look slash build slash review on the Apocalypse RDA. <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, the, these RDAs have been getting a lot of fucking attention, a lot of fucking hype. Not just on the style, but the performance and the airflow on it. So many people have gone to say that these RDAs are pretty much the goon killer. Which, you know, it's all personal preference, basically. What you thought about a product, what I think about the product. Uh, I have not actually physically vaped it yet, so I can't even give you that opinion yet. But as far as looks and cool factor and everything, they definitely have the looks, they definitely have the cool factor. Now, as far as the Spartan mod goes, this is a high-end mechanical tube mod, okay? They project a lot of safety in this device this is this was their main goal and they have warnings all along the side of the box and everything to give you a heads up they say this device is not to be used with a tank this device is strictly for experienced vapors only this device is recommended to be used with a 0.10 ohm rda build and above okay so you're not allowed to build below 0 0.10 ohms and the reason why they say that is because most 30 amp batteries on the market today the high drain batteries whether they're samsung 25rs or sony vtc 4s or 5as or whatever they are most of these 30 amp drain batteries or they claim to be 30 amp high drain batteries most of these batteries should not be pushed below 0 0.10 ohms and me when i test a product out yes i go below 0 0.10 ohms simply based on the fact that i'm testing the product to see if it can handle if it gets hot if i get a lightning button if i get a hot button if i get whatever i test the limits of these items because an item price so high as the spartan mod being that it's a high-end mod I want to know and I want people to know out there whether or not and how far they can push the limits of this device. And this is the limited edition triple X. Pretty much that's what this version is. It's the limited edition triple X. You can find them at info at vapor modified.com or at vapor modified on Instagram or Facebook slash or you know Facebook.com slash vapor modified. Or you can go directly to their website, www.vapor, V-A-P-O-R, vapormodified.com, right? Now, on the back of the box, it also says key features, okay? So the key features is that it's got a high-pressure safety release, sleek ergonomical design, non-conductive lining, spring-loaded battery adjustment to eliminate battery rattle, uh, it's including a high, in, including inside the box, you get a high quality mod and a stainless steel spanning wrench. Okay. So that's what we got here. Cool box, cool factor all over the box. Nice packaging. Open up the box. We have a foam pad showing our Spartan tool. Now this is a, this is a tool. It's a spanning wrench. You can put it on your keychain. It has a little eyelet on it where you can put it on your keychain. It's got the cool uh, Spartan, you know, this is Sparta helmet on it. So it's that's their logo, basically, the Sparta helmet. Um, I haven't really used the spanning wrench much. You can use it if you want to or if you need to or if you'd like to, you can use it. Uh, but within the confines of the box itself, you do have the packaging which holds the mechanical tube mod. And then you have a lifetime warranty as well as a certificate of authenticity. Okay. So this is an authentic mechanical tube mod and it is considered a high-end mechanical tube mod. Okay. So let's take a look at the mod. So when we look at our mechanical tube mod up close, what is the first thing that pops out at us? Well, obviously it's the engraved deep engraving of the Spartan helmet first. You got a really nice design there on the Spartan helmet. They really went deep on the engraving and that's something I really do appreciate. 
But it's not just that. It's also the ergonomical cut that they did deep right here on the sides of the mechanical tube mod. Just so you can uh, rest your finger comfortably while holding this device. Now that's a standout feature right there. Whether you're left-handed or right-handed, the groove actually works really, really well when you're holding this device. It makes it super comfortable to use this device. Now this is a machine brushed uh, brass finish on it. It's not shiny like a mirror, although you can polish it up and make it shine like a mirror. This is the Series 1 Limited Edition Triple X version. Uh, also, you can see at the top where their Vapor Modified logo is, there is a battery venting right there. So, dead in the top center portion of their logo, they do have venting. Now, on the top of where the 510 hybrid connection is, you'll see that there are extra vent holes up top. But those vent holes also serve another purpose, so that you can stick your spanning wrench in there and unscrew the top 510 connection, basically. So if, let's say, you wrench it down pretty tightly, you could easily begin to unscrew it. Notice that there's a layer of black material that's lining the top of the 510 connection. Okay, that is insulation right there, that if in the event you were to have any rips in your battery wrap, such as this battery right here, you can see how like we have a tendency to rip our battery wraps in certain box mods and so forth. And if you lose that insulator, and for some reason you decide to drop this into this 510 connection, it'll be protected by this coating up here. Now, looking down into the tube mod itself, you can see and notice that there is a black lining on the inside of this tube that if in the event your battery wrap is unwrapped at any portion on the sides or on the top of your tube, it is protected by this uh, internal coating, basically. I'm unsure what the coating is actually made of, but it is very interesting on how well it works. The machining on a tube is done excellently, okay? Very nice job. Very nice job on the threads here, okay? You can see that the inner tube itself is about the size of an 18650 battery in width, so there's next to no rattle as it is because there is that little ledge up top right by that vent hole. You can see that little ledge that comes out a little bit. And then up the top portion, you know, the... This is accommodating for 24 millimeter in diameter RDAs, but the thread is done so nicely on this, so clean. Very nice. High tolerance there on the threading. They have very high tolerances on the threading. Very good job there. Now, normally on a mechanical tube mod in the switch area, you would notice that there would be threading, but this button design does not have any threading. What they do have is an indentation. They have a groove along there it almost looks like a thread but it's not really a thread what that does is it traps and captures a c-clamp now what we're looking at here is the switch and on the switch of this device you'll notice that there is a c-clamp right here okay what is used to lock the button into the device itself so you simply just connect these two and then push and then it locks into that groove you simply just pull and it's not that easy to do this you'd have to use a little strength for this so just pull them apart it does not easily come apart and if you notice on the tube mod itself there's a slight angle in a tube right here that angle is used to compress the c-spring therefore it'll lock this into place now the switch itself does have which i don't think it's necessary but it does have a battery lock or a switch lock on here basically so you cannot fire the device now if you look at the switch itself very nice etching on there they actually engraved the helmet and then they laser etched the lettering that says Spartan mod around the button itself is it necessary to have this switch lock on here no but they were aiming to do the safest um, possible tube mod on the market today so they you know of course they went with the old school route and included this uh this safety feature basically so you just back it out counterclockwise and it will simply just lock the switch on here 
so this way it cannot fire the device. Clockwise, tightens it up. Now the copper positive pin or the copper firing pin is a uh, it's it's nice little design. It's got a little bit of knurling on there. And you can see with the arcing on the center of this pin, you can see where my battery is making connection, which is dead center on the pin. Now the inside of the switch housing, you can see it holds a huge beefy magnet. It's not the widest magnet in the world, but it is a pretty tall magnet. You can see the, the depth of it, how deep it goes into the switch housing. Okay. Now... Above that, there is a spring for our battery height adjustment. This is our battery rattle adjustment Delrin, basically. And there is a spring beneath that. So once you remove the magnet in there, magnet is press sealed in there. But once you remove that magnet on the inside, you can then remove the spring, which holds our Delrin together. In the switch button itself, you can see there is our magnet. You know, it's not big it's not like the magnets you would find in an avid life tube mod but these are just right and they're just strong i think these magnets throw about 35 pounds of resistance basically very strong magnets i really really dig these magnets very nice throw on them now putting this back together again it's fairly simple you just gotta simply push in your switch and just push in your connecting a uh, copper pin and just you know put it on clockwise screw it in clockwise use the knurling okay once it's on there it's on there good it's not going anywhere so now we're going to be using the armageddon apocalypse rda which is nice because it it basically matches basically this is a gold plated rda but uh this is a brass mod so gold and brass have a tendency to match at times and i think this looks really fucking classy okay it does say apocalypse going across the airflow control here you can see you can control the amount of airflow in this rda and i love the fact that the logo to the apocalypse rda matches with the Spartan helmet. If you don't like it on this side, you can simply switch it and have the writing of it on this side. So you have Apocalypse written right there, and then you have the helmet right there, and then you turn it to the opposite side. The helmet will be right there of the Apocalypse mask, and it'll say Vapor Modified there. Now the deck on this um, Armageddon Apocalypse version 2 rda is really nice actually i gotta say it is a gold plated 24 millimeter in diameter but the building deck is actually 21 millimeters in diameter uh the juice well is about four millimeter deep juice well not a huge deep juice well but i mean you're going to be dripping for the most part so having a deep juice well is a plus at times but not always a necessity on a rda Okay, this has that uh, goon style clamping style two post. So you have uh, your negative post and your positive post. I like to trap the legs on either sides of the screw. This way I can close the clamps down uh, evenly and have even pressure distributed on both sides of the plates. Okay, this is gold plating. So it is very conductive for gold plating. Very, very conductive. Uh, as far as anything else goes on this deck. Mainly what you're looking at is the positive post is insulated with a peak insulator. The drip tip measures in roughly around 12.4 millimeter uh, in width. So it's just under the width of what a Goon or Kennedy style drip tip would be. The airflow on here is a 5 millimeter in diameter uh, airflow hole. And the control is made in a teardrop configuration. So when you go to control your airflow on it, it's made in a teardrop configuration. So basically, the closer you get to the end of the teardrop, the tighter your airflow would be. And it works on both sides, whether you're turning this way or that way. It will be symmetrical on both sides, basically. Now, other interesting um, features on this RDA is that the 
bridge clamps are oversized bridge clamps. So they're nice and thick, the bridge clamps on here, which means when you tighten them down, they're not going to bend so easily, which is a real nice plus. Uh, the screws, these flathead screws are lengthened so you can accommodate raising up the uh, clamps as high as you like. So today I'm dripping a little Om Chi, which is like a green tea, strawberry, uh, mochi ice cream covered with little drizzled chocolate in the rice shell that the mochi is covered in. Really, really delicious flavor. 70-30, 70 VG, 30 PG. Awesome blend. This is put to you together by Ronin Vape and Vape Models out of Los Angeles. Damn. So I've been using this device with a District 5 Summit cap, okay? Or actually the Chubby cap. I think it's called the Chubby. So I've been using it with a District 5 Chubby cap up top without the inner airflow control because, believe it or not, the 5 millimeter wide uh, hole on the RDA sits perfectly right in front of my medium fused Claptons that I got in here that were made by GM coils. The RDA building deck could accommodate 13 millimeters of space. So you could put monstrous fucking coils in this RDA and still have just the right amount of airflow to accommodate the coils and the amount of vapor production. Now you can always tighten up the airflow by tightening up your airflow control by adjusting the teardrop to the narrower side. But I found the Wade Vapes just with the chubby cap and the airflow control hole being um, at 5 millimeter with this mechanical tube mod works perfect for me. The tube itself is handling the build that I got in here. It is vaping really hot, really nicely. It is fucking chucking the vape. I'm actually a little dry on liquid right now, so I got to drip a little bit more. But I'm currently vaping on Ohm Chi. You know, I feel real safe with this mod in my hand. I have a low build on here, which I understand. It's not meant for the purpose of this device. But just understand, if in the event that a future of something vents, I could just pull the button off, straight off, take my battery out, and toss my battery somewhere in a safe area so I don't destroy my mechanical tube mod. Or, if in the event I'm traveling, you know, I could just put the... Um, the button lock feature on, but you don't really need it, believe it or not, because it takes some pressure to actually compress these magnets together to actually make contact. But if you want that added protection, you can lock the switch. Uh, the tube mod itself is nice. It's a flawless design. It's machined really, really well. You know, once they cut the grooves in a mechanical tube mod, they sit there and hand polish. They hand brush this entire tube. Everything here is done by hand. The ingenuity behind it is great. There's no battery rattle this way or that way or any way, shape, or form. Screw on your RDA, push in your button, and it just fits. You don't have to fiddle with contact pins and this, that, or anything. It just works really well, okay? And that's all I can say. If you're interested in picking up the Spartan Mod, I'm going to have a link in the description down below as to where you can pick it up. I know they have it at shop.innovapes.net. I think it's going for about 275 on their site. I picked it up directly from Vapor Modified for the purpose of this review. And uh, I'm really, really happy with this mechanical tube mod. It's brass. I love brass mods. I love the look of brass mods. I like the weight of brass mods. And I like the way it hits. You know, it's hybrid with a copper connect and a, with a copper firing pin, but brass. And it just, just works really, really well. It's really worth the price point if you're looking to collect mechanical tube mods. If you're the collector at heart that wants a hard hitting mod that's ultra safe, it's this right here. Very nice mod. RDA runs roughly about 80 bucks. They're sold out everywhere. Everywhere I look for the Apocalypse RDA, this is the generation two, which you could put the um, District 5 caps on it. So if you choose to use the District 5 caps, you can. If not, you know, the airflow control with the standard cap that comes with this works just as good. You know, they come in all assortments of colors.
great flavor even on a tighter draw but i like this bad boy wide open wide open it's not even that airy it's not even super airy for a five millimeter hole i would have thought it's a lot airy it's not it's not airy at all it has a good amount of resistance for it being wide open if you're going to chuck clouds and get some good flavor this setup is a dope setup. I advise anybody interested in picking up a nice brass mod, especially the Spartan, or this Armageddon Apocalypse Generation 2. Fucking amazing setup. Right here, this is the tits. This is a fucking tit fucking setup right here. Okay? I'm going to put my chubby cap back on here. Got a nice fat O-ring on this chubby cap so the shit don't come flying off. We're on there solid. Set up my airflow. Boom. And it's perfect. Have no complaints whatsoever. Perfect setup. Beautiful setup. Super happy. Super classy. And I'm fucking out, people. So from me to YouTube, peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. Hopefully you found some nice direction with this device. Because I got to tell you, it's comfortable. It's safe. It doesn't get hot on me. No hot button. No nothing. Great, strong fucking magnets. Even though they're small, they're powerful magnets in the Switch. And it's just, it's just a fucking dope setup. Between the RDA and the Mechanical Tube Mod, dope setup. The ease and comfort of the District 5 cap on here just works perfect. I got no complaints. Hits hard, works good, feels safe. For me to YouTube, peace out. I'm out. Laters.